What's up guys and welcome to Car Focused. Today you join me in my garage with the RS. I don't think you've ever seen my garage before. Well here it is. I'll give you a quick a quick tour. So yeah, a few little bits and bobs, a couple of bikes, a dog, another dog. Yeah, cleaning products, blah blah blah. I'm really chuffed to have a double garage by the way, it's epic. And then the RS sitting pretty there. Anyway, the purpose of today's video is another small modification to the RS. Now, as you're all aware, I had the Scorpion exhaust fitted, um, catback exhaust, and it's the valve system. Now, there's been a couple of small issues with the valve system. Sometimes the valve stays shut, which can be quite annoying. And also, the cold starts can be quite loud. Well, they are loud. It's not a problem, you know, 90% of the time, but if I want to leave somewhere really early in the morning, my neighbours, I think, they probably want to kill me. So anyway, the purpose of today's video is to show you and to install an exhaust valve controller. Now, this will basically give me full control over the exhaust valve of the car. So I should be able to start the car with the valve closed, and then when the car's warmed up, I can open the valve up and have the valve open for the whole duration of my drive. Because what the valve normally does is when you're driving around, if you're just kind of pootling around, the valve will shut. And then sometimes if you want to accelerate quickly, the valve forgets to open. And then if you've got some pesky, I don't know, person behind you trying to race you or something like that, and you want to really open the taps and get some noise out the back, it's a bit embarrassing when the valve stays shut and it sounds like a bog standard Focus ST. So it would be nice to have full control over the valve so I can have it open all the time when I'm out driving and have it closed on some of the cold starts. So what I'll do now, I'll show you what I got. I got the valve controller from J9 Performance, who you can find on Facebook. I'll put a link um, to the company in the video. Also on Instagram, you can follow their page. But yeah, so I'll show you. So, excuse the wellies, we're not gonna install them. So here it is, here's what I got. Here is the controller, so is it gonna focus in? Is it gonna focus? On and off, straightforward. A uh, little air freshener, performance uh, parts card there from J9 Performance for their Facebook page. Right, so we've got installation instructions here. So it tells you how to install it, we'll be doing that in a minute. Here is the module itself. So it's just a control box with a male and female plug there. And then we've got a 3M sticky pad, an alcohol wipe, and some cable ties. So essentially, what we need to do is get underneath the car at the back, um, fit this device, and then we shall have a play with the controller. We'll see the valve opening and closing, and then we'll do a cold start with the valve closed, just to see if it really improves things and will make my neighbors not want to kill me anymore. So let's go around to the back of the car underneath, get this thing fitted, and then we shall have a play. Right, so underneath the car, the first thing we need to do, this is the valve controller on the exhaust. This is the exhaust here. We need to unplug this. So we pull that out like that. Then grab your, grab your controller, your controller box. Connect the one you've just unplugged from the exhaust valve controller into this one here which comes on the new control box. So that should... plug in like so. And then, you want to plug this one into the exhaust valve controller. Like so. So now basically you've got two, you can see, you can focus in, you've got these two connected and then you've got a loose control box like this. Now what we need to do is get a sticky pad on here and fix it to the chassis somewhere just so it's nice and out of the way. Right, so as you've just seen, we've connected up the valve controller. We haven't actually attached it to the car yet, sort of tidied it up and tidied the cables up, etc. But I've turned the ignition on in the car now and in theory, this should work. So I've got the controller here, and we're gonna press the on and off button and see if the valve 
actually opens and shuts like it's supposed to. So if I can turn the camera, hopefully so you can see the valve, which is in there. It's very hard to see though. Technology, eh? It doesn't want to focus. Right, there's the valve. So, with the controller in my hand, I'm now going to press and hold the on button. There we go. So let's open the flap. I'm now going to press and hold the off button. Flap's closed. Press and hold the on button. Open. Press and hold the off button. Closed. So, that's a good start. So we know it works. Just need to get back underneath the car attach the box to the chassis and then tidy the cables up and then give it a cold start and see how it sounds. Right, so back underneath the car, here's a valve uh, controller. There's a bit of chassis rail here, which is where I'm gonna attach the box. I'm gonna attach the box around there somewhere. So I'm gonna clean this area up with alcohol wipe, just put the sticky uh, 3M pad on the back of the box and then stick it on there and then we'll cable tie the wires out the way. Jesus, they give it a good clean. So now the area is clean. I'm just gonna remove the backing tape from the sticky pad, which I've attached to the back of the control box. And now I'm gonna stick that there. So hopefully that will stay put. Just apply some pressure on it for sort of 10 to 20 seconds. I obviously don't want that coming off. And there we go. So that's it. It's all installed. So you can see it all there. Got the box there. And I've cable tied the cable to that piece of metal there. And then I've also cable tied these two together here, just so it's kind of nice and tidy. It's not gonna go anywhere. It's all fairly, fairly firm. So I think now we need to start it up and then have a little play and just see what difference it makes to the sound. So let's grab the car keys. Put the car keys in the car and then grab my little control box and we shall start the car. Right, actually, before we do that, the valve is open. Right, so the valve is open. So we're gonna start the car. If I can do it like this. Oh! There you have it. Uh, that's actually made a big difference. Uh, as you probably heard on the cold start there, as soon as you close that valve, the car's much quieter. So I think that early morning starts now are not gonna be as traumatizing for my neighbors. And also it's just gonna give me much more control 
when driving around. I mean, once the cold starts over with, I'm gonna be having that valve open all the time. So there's gonna be no more embarrassing moments where I wanna accelerate off and the valve stays shut and it sounds pathetic. So yeah guys, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. Um, if you want to get hold of one of these controllers yourself, then check out J9 Performance's uh, web page, Facebook page. I'll put a link in the video description box below where you can find details on pricing, etc. Uh, well worth investment if you've got a catback valve system. If you've got a valveless system, this isn't going to work obviously because there's no valve to control. Um, I would recommend going for the, the valve system purely because you've got flexibility in you know, how loud you have the car when you start it up. Where if you've got a valveless exhaust, you've got no control, it's loud no matter what. But yeah, from me and the Focus RS, until the next video, I shall see you soon.